Hello friend and welcome. I hope you're doing so great today. I have a luscious knitted shawl pattern to show you today called Pink Rain. It is soft, it's cozy, it's thick. I think you're going to enjoy making it. Also, it is designed for the adventurous beginner knitter. This shawl design was inspired by rain. Now, rain is not very common where the designer lives, but one evening she was sitting there and it, the sunset was streaming through the window and the rain was drip, drip, dripping off of the roof eaves and it just looked like magical little pink diamonds dripping down. So she wanted to capture that magical moment in time and turn it into a beautiful shawl for you. And you can see the rain mimicked in this little lace section here in the shawl. Now, as for colors, you are gonna wanna choose a shade that inspires you. We opted for one of our really popular shades, which is our hand-dyed more Merlot, please. And it's a beautiful, rich wine color. For the yarn base, we went with our Enduring Worsted yarn. Just like all of our yarn, this is custom spun just for us. And I had it designed to be really soft and lovely next to the skin. So it's really great for cozy shawls like this. It's also wonderful for sweaters, blankets, and accessories. If you would like more information on the pattern or the yarn, you can check the description box for the links to both or head directly to expressionfiberarts.com. And while you're there, go ahead and sign up for email updates. I will send you coupon codes, free patterns, and other exclusive stuff that you will not find anywhere else. It is our happy, positive little place on the internet. Now that you have the pattern and the yarn information, let's go ahead and jump into the demo. To make this beautiful rain-inspired shawl, you are gonna need to know how to work a garter tab cast on to get started. We do have a video of that, so we will link below to that for you. You'll also need to know how to work the setup rows, the lace section, and how to work an I-cord bind off. So I'm gonna show you how to do those techniques today, and I think you're really gonna love that bind off. It's super easy, super simple, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. To get started with this shawl, you work a garter tab cast on. That is right here, and that helps to create the look of an unbroken garter stitch border. Once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and move on to the four rows that form the body of the shawl. So let's do that. Once you have your garter tab cast on worked, here are the four rows that you will work for the body of the shawl. Row one, you're gonna begin by knitting four. One, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna slip your stitch marker. Slide that over there. Then you're gonna work knit yarn over knit into the next stitch. Knit into the next stitch, then work a yarn over, and then knit into that stitch again. So then you can plop it off. Go ahead and slip your stitch marker and do that again. Knit, yarn over, and knit into that same stitch. Then you can slide it off. Slide your next stitch marker and then finish off with a knit four. Two, three, and four. Row two, you're gonna start with a knit four. One, two, three, and four. Then you're gonna slip your stitch marker, yarn over, and purl three. One, two, and three. Then slide your stitch marker and purl three again. One, two, three. Then you're going to yarn over, slip your next stitch marker, and then knit those final four stitches. Two, three, and four. Row three starts with a knit four. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna slip your stitch marker and you're gonna work a knit, yarn over, knit, all into that next stitch. Then you're gonna knit across to the last five stitches. And you just slip your stitch markers whenever you come to them. When you have five stitches left, you're gonna work knit, yarn over, knit, all into that next stitch. 
pass your stitch marker of course and then knit those final four stitches row four you're going to start with a knit four one two three four and slip your stitch marker as you've been doing then work a yarn over then you're going to purl all the way across until your last four stitches and you're going to have a lot more stitches eventually as you continue to repeat these rows and your shawl grows so when you get down to your final stitch marker you're going to slip that and you're going to finish off with a knit four two three and four then you're just gonna repeat rows three and four to form the body of the shawl before you get to the lace section. Next, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to work the lace repeat of the pattern. Row one of the lace section starts with a knit three. One, two, and three. And then a knit two together. So just knit those next two stitches together. The little circle means to work a yarn over. Then another knit stitch, a yarn over, and then a slip slip knit. So slip, slip, and then you're going to knit those together. Then knit the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now moving on to row two. This is gonna be the wrong side of the shawl, so the blank squares now mean to purl those stitches, so I'm just gonna purl all the way across this row. For row three, we're gonna go ahead and start with two knit stitches, one and two, and then a knit two together. Then a knit stitch, a yarn over, a knit, a yarn over, a knit, and then a slip, slip, knit, which is another decrease, and then knit three. One, two, and three. Row four is another purl row, so you're just going to purl across all the lace stitches in your shawl. Moving on to row five of the lace section, you're gonna start with a knit stitch and then a knit two together. Now we're gonna work two knit stitches, one, two, a yarn over, a knit, a yarn over, then two knit stitches, then a slip slip knit, slip, slip, knit those together then knit two. Then let's go ahead and work another purl row and I'll show you what we're getting. So those are the first six rows of the pattern. You essentially continue repeating really similar rows and you can see how you start to get these, this little pretty lace shape. Once you've finished your shawl and you're ready to bind off, you're gonna work an I-cord bind off. And I want you to check out how easy it is to do this. To work an I-cord edge bind off, it's super fun, super easy. You're gonna start with a knitted cast on and you're gonna cast on three stitches to the beginning of the row. Insert your needle as if you're gonna knit, but instead of you know working your normal knit stitch, you actually slide that onto the left needle and you have cast on another stitch. Do that two more times, pull up that loop, slide it on one more time pull up that loop and slide it on so you've cast on three additional stitches onto your left needle with the knitted cast on now you're going to knit the first stitch knit the next stitch then you're going to knit the next two stitches through the back loop So just go ahead and knit those together through the back loop and you have now bound off one stitch from your work 
Next up, you're gonna slip the three stitches from your right needle back onto your left needle. One, two, and three. And you're just slipping them purlwise, which means directly tip to tip. You're gonna continue repeating those steps until you only have three stitches left. So let's do it again. Knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch, and knit the next two together through the back loop. And you've bound off another stitch. Then slide them back onto your left needle. And you'll just continue repeating that all the way across until you have three stitches left. Finish it off when you have three stitches left. You're gonna knit this first stitch knit the second stitch then you're going to pass that first stitch over the second so that one is bound off then knit the last stitch and then bind off this stitch and you have finished and here's your nice little round i-cord bind off and once you've done all of that go ahead and weave in your ends lock your piece and you have your very own cozy pink rain shawl it's wonderful for curling up on the couch with or tucking into your coat before you head out into the blustering cold i also think this makes a really great gift for that person that has been begging you for a handmade item have a blast knitting this and go out and have an incredible day Whatever happens today, whether rain or shine, remember that you can bring the joy. Don't sit around and wait for others to bring you happiness because that is not their job. You have that power within yourself. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I'm going to see you very soon with another pattern. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. It really helps us out. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh. I already got gotcha. you. Oh my goodness, I love you too. He's a little lover.